first things first, if you see any glitter on my face um, at any point during this video, oh, speaking of, look at that, dots on my leg. Um, I tried to do this like cool, like yellow eyeliner avant guard-ish kind of makeup look. In my head it looked really good and then when I actually did it, um, I just looked like, you know that vine with the little girl in the back seat? The eyeshadow and the glitter. Yeah. Anyway, I had to go wash my face and redo my makeup. So the glitter is still like in my hair, in my face, in my leg, apparently. So if you see that, just, you know, it's that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to talk about three of my favorite manga slash anime of all time. The reason I decided to start out with these three is because these are the three that I started collecting. The fact that these are three of the first series I started collecting and actually like wanting to have in my life and in my collection, I think that says a lot. They may not be the most revolutionary, but you know, they're my favorites and I want to talk about them. Oh, and also these are shoujo. They are very romance heavy because you guys know I love my romance, but if you want me to do more of like a shonen um, favorites, uh, let me know and I will definitely do that because I have recommendations for that as well. Oh, I don't know which one to start out with. I love all of them. Okay, you know what? I want to start out with the one that I talked about in my last video. If you didn't watch my last video, I talked about my favorites, um, which kind of included makeup, music, da 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 da, like little random bits and bobs. And one of the things that I mentioned in that video is the anime that I'm currently watching. And that anime is based on a series, which is Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takahashi. Yeah, highly highly recommend it. It's one of my ultimate favorite series. I love it. I love it a lot. Kind of like a found family feel good kind of coming of age with a little bit of supernatural elements in it. Would it count as supernatural? I think it does because it follows a girl named Toru Honda who befriends two of her classmates and realizes that they are cursed by the curse of the zodiac. It is a curse that has been passed down through generations in their family and basically their curse makes them turn into their respective zodiac animal whenever they are hugged by someone of the opposite sex. She lives with three of the somas, that is a family that is cursed, and she befriends them. She goes through the journey of learning about their curse, but also just learning about them as people. If you're a fan of like the found family trope, I think this one has that because she is just like the glue, the sweetness that just brings them all together and kind of helps them deal with a lot of like they don't have good lives y'all like they go through a lot very sweet feel good kind of thing although there are some things where like oh when we get towards the ending oh my god it destroys me every time i cry i mean you guys know i'm a crier in general but like oh my god okay who is haciendo? okay well someone's doing something down there and I can't stop them, so I'm sorry about the noise. Anime, also highly, highly recommend it. Both the original, which is incomplete, keep that in mind, but also the new um, 2019 one that is currently airing that I'm watching that I've been loving. It's really, really good. Highly, highly recommend it. Both the dubbed and the uh, subbed versions. I am specifically saying that for this because trust me, there is one of these where I'm gonna be talking about where I do not recommend the dubbed version. Oh, and it does feature romance. It's not romance heavy. I'd say it's more like relationship heavy in terms of like friendships and family relationships and stuff like that, but there is a romance aspect to it as well. Let's keep it with the like supernaturally kind of elements. I, I just, I love this one so, so much. I have a weakness for uh, white hair animal-esque anime boys who are a bit of a tsundere. This one has a little bit of that. Again, it's another romance, uh, found family kind of thing. I really love found families. It is Kamisama Kiss by Julieta Suzuki. <sighs> one of my favorites of all time. Of all time. Of all time. This one is 
one is definitely a lot heavier on the romance than like Fruits Basket. It features a girl named Nanami. She finds herself uh, homeless at one point because her dad is useless and he abandons her when he is running away from his creditors. Is that what they're called? He owes a bunch of money and she basically gets kicked out because she can't pay anything and when she is homeless she comes across this very strange man who kisses her on the forehead and tells her to go to this shrine where she will find lodging and because she has no other options she goes and then she realizes that she has been appointed the new god of the shrine so it is her duty to take care of the shrine fulfill the wishes of the patrons is that the word for it in this shrine she meets the god's companion who is Tomoe aka the love of my life but he is kind of very much not happy that Nanami has been appointed the new god because you know his old master kind of went away for 20 years and hasn't appeared and then all of a sudden this little girl comes in like hey I'm in charge now, you know? I feel like I'm blabbing a lot about this. I don't want to give too much away, but I feel like I kind of did, but I kind of did it because it all happens very quickly in the beginning. There's a lot more to it. Like, obviously there's gods and goddesses from other shrines. There's other companions, other characters, as they deal with problems and situations that arise. Just read this. It's really, really good. It's one of my favorites, like I said. Anime for this one. Also, really, really good. Highly recommend both the dubbed and the subbed for this one. And then my last favorite for now, I trust me, there is so many more that I can talk about if you guys want me to do another part two of this, especially if you have like particular tropes or particular like genres that you want me to like talk about, let me know. I will write it down and I will make lists. You guys know I love my lists um, and I'll share like recommendations and like my favorites. But like I said, the last one for now is made sama this one is not paranormal at all this is more like a slice of life school romance this little is another one of my all-time favorites he i just i love him because he is so unabashed un, unabashedly yeah right unabashedly like smitten by her and she's the one who keeps denying it it's one of those situations where it's like hate to love they kind of supposedly have like this uh mutual not hatred but they don't really like each other and then that eventually forms to like respect to like to love for usui let's be honest for usui kind of like goes through those phases very very quickly i'm getting ahead of myself i haven't even told you what it's about okay so this follows a uh young girl again like i said this is like a high school romance because she is the class president of her school this is a school that used to be an all-male school that was very recently turned into a co-ed school so there's a very few girls and she is the school president and she is very strict very like get your shit together kind of a person but turns out she secretly works as a maid at a maid cafe which if you don't know what those are they're just like these cafes in japan that have the servers dress up as maids and there's like a whole kind of like role play element to it she works there and she wants to keep it as a secret because she doesn't want to lose her reputation as like this strong school president and <laughs> usui surprise surprise finds out her secret and then things develop from there i don't want to say too much because like i said there's there's a lot there's secrets there's things that happen there's obviously a lot of shenanigans because there's secrets to be kept or whatever the romance i think in this one is my favorite because they well misaki let's be honest she's very much in denial so a lot of the stuff that happens like it's very swoon worthy and like you can just tell that there's love a brewing but she's like headstrong like oh no it's not happening what do you mean no of course not but like girl come on anime this one i highly highly recommend that you watch the original japanese audio like just just watch it subbed the dub it's not great. Whoever does Misaki's voice, it's just, mmm, mmm. And listen, like for me, I'm not one of those people who is like, oh my God, if you were a real fan, you would watch it in Japanese. What is wrong with you? Like, listen, I'm a busy bitch. 
especially lately I'm exhausted I have no time why do you think I haven't been watching any of the Korean dramas that I've been so excited about watching lately I don't have the time or the energy sometimes or the brain capacity let's be honest to like sit down and just like read subtitles sometimes you just need to like listen to stuff as you're going about your business running errands doing what you have to do so I'm not opposed to like watching anime that's been dubbed as long as the dub is pretty good this one I personally don't think it is make the time to watch it dubbed subbed Wow, I'm getting all... Watch the subtitles. Original Japanese with English subtitles. I recommend that. Those are my top three favorite shoujo manga recommendations. Um, like I said, I do have others that I want to talk about. A few that I haven't started collecting yet, but I have on my wish list. I'm waiting for price drops. If you want certain topic genres, tropes that you want me to cover in any future anime slash manga rex video please let me know uh but other than that i think that's gonna be it for this video if you guys have any recommendations for me of any that are like this especially the newer ones i haven't had time to delve into a lot of like the newer ones because like i said i just i just don't have time guys that is gonna be it for this video um i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you next time bye guys